Hey there, welcome back to my channel Tech Clips. Today I have an awesome topic to share with you all on effective note taking techniques for both physical and digital books. Have you ever felt like you are reading a book but not truly capturing their insight? Well, today I am going to show you a smart way to unlock the full potential of your reading experience. This will also enable you to go back to those learning in future. Trust me, by end of this video you will be taking notes like a pro from both digital and physical books. Topic we would be covering in this video are what, why and how of capturing the data that is highlighting the data, finding the essence from the captured data, how to convert the captured data into knowledge base that could be used in immediate or near future, my way of converting the captured data into meaningful data, three common mistakes of novice note taker, we will also do a demo on the effective note taking. Step 1 what, why and how of capturing the data. What data to capture? We should capture the data what resonates. Information become knowledge only when we put it to use. Information and impact don't happen by accident or by chance. So we need to have a creative dependency and creative process to use that data. Why to capture? You might read 20-30 books on a self-help, finance, a productivity, etc. And the impact of those readings are short-lived and will not be useful if you don't take any immediate action or not use them in future projects. What is the point of knowledge if it doesn't help anyone or produce anything? By capturing those important data, you are building a knowledge base asset uh, that can be used in future to solve a problem, save time or learn from the past experience. Highlighting the book basically helps in finding the insightful details which might be useful for us. Quotes from the passages could also be useful in future. Uh, what to capture? So we should have a checklist basically whenever we are capturing the data. Does that meet any of the criteria? First thing would be like does it inspire you? Whatever you are reading, does it inspire you? Second, is it useful? Sometime you come across a piece of information that isn't necessarily inspiring but you know it might be handy in near future. Third thing would be, is it personal? One of the most valuable kind of information to keep is personal information. Your own thought, reflection, memories and mementos. Like the age old practice of journaling or keeping a diary, we can use the note taking to document our life and better understand how we became what who we are. No one else has access to the wisdom you have personally gained from the lifetime of conversation, mistakes, victories and lesson learned. No one else value the small moments of your day quite like you do. That is one of the reasons right when you are capturing or probably uh, capturing the data on Google or YouTube you can find the book summary but it will not have your version of data. The next point to keep in mind is, is it surprising? The renowned information theorist Claude Shannon whose discoveries paved the way for modern technology had a simple definition for information that what which surprised you. If you are not surprised then you already knew it at some level. So why take note of it? Surprise is an excellent barometer for information that doesn't fit neatly into our existing understanding which means it has the potential to change how we think. If what you are capturing doesn't change your mind then what's the point? Step 2. Finding the essence from the highlighted data. The most important factor in whether your notes can survive that journey into the future is the discoverability. That is how easy it is to discover what they contain and access the specific point that are most immediately useful. Discoverability is an idea from information science that refers to the degree to which the piece of content or information can be found in a search of a file, database or other information system. Distillation is at a very hard of all effective communication. The more important it is that your audience hear and take action on your message, the more distilled that message needs to be. Step 3. How to convert the capture data into knowledge base. We will be using a progressive summarization technique. It is a simple process of taking the raw notes you have captured and organize and distill them into usable material that can directly inform a current project. 
Progressive summarization take advantage of tools and a habit that we have intimately familiar with that is highlighting while leveraging the unique capabilities of technology to make those highlights far more useful the technique is simple you highlight the main points of a note using different colors if you find that information to be critical you highlight using orange color if you find it information to be important you highlight with green color and if you find that information to be useful you highlight it with yellow color Step 4 my personal steps for note taking here i have documented my book reading process into the steps the first thing is that like your summary should not be 10% of your actual content and then uh, like how i am going to highlight the color like critical information orange uh, very important green important yellow like each books uh, each book will have a chapter chapter will have a section section will have a paragraph and how do we uh, color code those book reading can happen daily or based on your like time preference but when you are done with the book reading i think you need to translate that uh, data being captured into a digital notes which you can do it weekly or monthly uh step 5 3 common mistakes for novice note taker mistake number 1 over highlighting the biggest mistake people make when they try to start to distill their notes is that they highlight way too much You may have experienced the pitfall in school highlighting paragraph after paragraph for the entire page of textbook in the vain hope that you would automatically be able to remember everything in yellow for the test. Mistake number 2 highlighting without the purpose in mind. The rule of thumb to follow is that every time you touch a note you should make it a little more discoverable for yourself. Mistake number 3 making highlighting difficult. certain passage will move you make your heart beat faster or provoke you those are clear signs that you would have found something important and that is important to highlight step 6 demo we are using a freda app which can sync bookmark across multiple devices by paying some 80 or rupees i am not promoting here but i find this app to be useful Uh, because whenever you are on the fly like when you are traveling you can read it on the mobile and when you are back to home uh, you can see those notes on pc that makes life easier here we'll show an example of uh, how we are doing a bookmarking on the pc and then how it gets synced uh, to the mobile devices step 7 the highlights which are done on the pc uh, same we can see it in the mobile app same thing you can do it for your physical notebook and uh, this is a sample summary which i have taken it from the one of my book each time you decide to add a highlight you are developing your judgment distinguishing the bits that truly matter from those that don't this is a skill can become better over time
the more you exercise judgment the more efficient and enjoyable your note taking will become remember it's not just about taking notes it's about creating an organized system that works for you and that's it for today's epic journey into the realm of digital and physical note taking thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos